Let me first say this, and I'm going to start with the Vikings having the biggest comeback in NFL history, down 33 at halftime and ended up winning in overtime 30, 39 to 36. The whole uh, Jeff Jeff Saturday uh, <laughs> Jeff Saturday homecoming or Jeff Saturday parade, as far as you know, the, games like this is why coaches, you know, the 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 litany of former coaches came out and spoke out against the Colts hiring. Jeff Saturday is an interim head coach. When you're up, there's a reason why being the, 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 the Vikings coming back from what coming back from 33 points down is the largest comeback in NFL history. Cause that doesn't happen. These are professionals. I don't care. And now I heard and I've seen all the Matt Ryan jokes, you know, giving up a, a 28, 28 to 3 lead in the Super Bowl, now losing 33 0 or giving up a 33 0 lead. But this is this is so much more. This is a cataclysmic failure from the Colts on every way, in every facet. And that starts with the head coach. That was probably one of the absolute worst coaching performances I've seen ever. And it's not just on Matt Ryan. Now, I understand Jonathan Taylor went out and it looks like he's going to be out for the season. Uh, and I hope for a speedy recovery from Jonathan Taylor, but that, hey, bro. Jeff Saturday, bro. And I, and I respect him as a person. I love the dude as a person. He's a great person. I've been around him several times. But he, that was, there, you gave up. <laughs> you scored three, three points in the second half and in overtime. While the other team, Scored 39. Mm. That was, that's why, that's why right there. That's why coaches, you know, you hear Bill Cower or other coaches like Rex Ryan even, even went hard, hard at, at Jeff Saturday. It was, it was a terrible, terrible coaching job. Terrible. Losing losing a thirty three point lead is not just on the players. That's one thing I'll say. It's not just now. It's not just on the coaches, but it's not just on the players, bro. Mm -mm. You had Kurt, bro. Kurt boy, the legend grows. <laughs> the Kurt Cousins one p.m. legend grows. That boy is a Hall of Famer at one p.m. Now he didn't look like it the first half of the game, but that second half, boy. Oh yeah, and uh, the Vikings. Yeah, nah, I mean, um, I don't think I was. I was kind of on the fence about how good the Vikings could be. Now, of course, it can still change. Maybe I'm still on the fence, but I'm kind of leaning towards not no shot in hell that they even make any noise in the playoffs. Because if if this was any better team, if this if any other team in NFL history, hell, what's the worst team? If the Houston Texans had a 33 to 0 lead going into halftime 9.99999 times out of 10 the Vikings would have lost that game so yeah but they didn't shouts out to the Vikings for um oh and shouts out to to uh what's his name what's his name um uh Justin Jefferson Jefferson Jefferson, I think maybe next game is going to break the single season receiving record. 
I think Cooper Cup has it right now. Yeah, I think he's gonna break that. So, shouts out to them. Oh man, you stayed to the end of the video. I appreciate you. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss any content from your boy. You can also go back and watch past episodes, past clips, and don't forget that the Unpopular Podcast new episodes drop every Wednesday and Saturday. Appreciate you.